the alarm is sounding and it's on and it, it, we're in a real serious problem. And by like 2048, 2050, some of the estimates are we're having more plastic in the ocean than fish. Let's dive in to our first segment, which is called the deep dive. So today is Earth Day. Well, no, that's a lie. It's not Earth Day. It's the day before Earth Day, but it's basically Earth Week. Kind of like Shark Week, right? That's a thing. Earth Week. You think of I think Earth Week's a thing. Um, anyway, it's Earth Week, and I want to talk a little bit about something that everyone who's been in quarantine, like uh, we are here in Montreal, has been watching online. In fact, it went so freaking viral all around the fucking world. Uh, I want to talk about Seaspiracy, right? So you watched it. If you haven't watched it, just go watch it. But if you have watched it, well, now what? Now what do we do, right? You've watched this show, you've watched this episode, and I want to dive into what can be done and what that might look like. So the first thing I want to point out, though, is that there are some shocking facts about our world, about what's going on around us. And so I'm going to bring up those shopping facts. And the first is that 46% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, that's the patch that's floating out in the, you know, the, the Pacific Ocean that's you know, the size of Texas or whatever it is, and it keeps getting bigger every year. Well, truth is, it's not really just floating plastic bottles. It's actually microplastics and a bunch of stuff. But 46% of it is made of fishing nets, fishing nets that are made up of plastic that slowly but surely deteriorate in our oceans and end up, well, in our fish. And uh, when they end up in our fish, guess what happens next? They end up in you. See, there are studies out there, CNN Health here, that says you could be swallowing a credit card's worth of plastic or credit card's weight of, in plastic every week. Ladies and gentlemen, I know we're in a global pandemic right now, and uh, I'm not going to touch upon that topic. What I will say is that this is a global pandemic. This is a problem. How, how could we possibly be eating a plastic, a credit card worth of plastic every single week and not be talking about this more? And I get it. I know that you did your part. You watched the documentary. Maybe you thought about giving up fish for a minute, right? But then you're like, well... Poke bowls, though. Like I really, I really like myself a mix of salmon and tuna and spicy salmon poke bowl. And I get it. I love poke bowls too. But here's the thing: the world is being overfished. Our oceans are 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 dying. Like I mean, it's coral bleaching is a problem. I mean, that's related to climate change and a bunch of different things. There is a lot of problems happening. But enter in a solution. Now, I'm not saying the solution because that would be unwise of me. But what I will say is that I have partnered up with and I'm actually invested in a company called Dollar Donation Club. I want to bring you this forward, not because I have any financial incentive to doing this. It's because I, we're really trying to build a billion person army, a billion people rising together to become the world's biggest philanthropist. I call it philanthropist, but really philanthropist by taking collective action where people can give a dollar a month, a dollar a week or a dollar a day, whatever you choose, towards specific causes. Basically, how do you take the ROI of return on investment, right? Building a company, building a nonprofit, doing all those kinds of things, and build a brand, a media company of sorts that tells you this news and then finds and vets the best companies out there, best organizations out there is a better way of saying it. And that's what Dollar Donation Club is doing. A startup based... You know, a bunch of, of really close friends of mine have come together and, and fundraised, fundraised for, built a brand, did the stuff. I think it's brilliant. They've got a flying pig logo, guys, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Any brand that's going to go out with a flying pig logo, I'm into it. Um, no, but for, for real, I mean, they've, they've got a very, very cool way of trying to solve large-scale impact problems. And so to me, the other ROI, the ROI of ripple of impact is what this organization is about. And that's why I invested. I invested because I know I'm going to meet amazing people and I'm going to play a role in helping tell big stories that create movements that solve large scale problems. And guess what? One of the problems that they're solving is removing or attempting to remove a Guinness world record amount of ghost nets out of the ocean. 
to be specific, we're looking to raise, I think it's $3.2 million. It's not that much money, by the way, like 3.2 million to remove a million pounds of plastic. So for every dollar, we are removing 0.33 LBS of plastic out of the ocean in the form of ghost nets. And ghost nets are these incredibly horrid nets that are used in these in large scale fisheries that essentially are dragged across the ocean to capture as much fish as possible. Now that has all kinds of horrid consequences. Let's say they catch dolphins in these ghost nets. Well, they dolphins die, they throw them back in the water and all kinds of byproducts and, and challenges are faced with ghost nets, including the dragging of these nets sometimes at the bottom are, you know, hooking on to coral reef and destroying coral reef and, 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 you know, essentially like cities for fish. That's what essentially coral reef is. And it's creating massive, massive issue. Now, the Dollar Donation Club team has found a way, number one, to vet organizations, right? Because let's be real. How many people have donated a dollar to like, I don't know, the Red Cross or some organization that maybe, maybe the money is going to the right cause? But Dollar Donation Club is doing a little bit different. They have vetted through a, a very rigorous system, through people who are leading experts, scientists, you know, uh, sailors, biologists. I mean, you know, people who have like been involved in Google X, for example, in, in Tom Chi. I mean, they've got really, really smart people. Really, way smarter than me. Like, like way, way smarter than me. Vetting these organizations and tracking the entire process from your dollar being donated to the plastic being removed out of the ocean. And 100%, 100% of the dollars that you donate go directly to the cause. Meaning none of that money goes to a marketing team or the CEO of the company or blah, 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 blah. In fact, the monetization model is through tipping. Now, if you want to tip Dollar Donation Club, you can. And that's where we monetize through those types of things and through bringing on partner organizations like a giant organization. I don't know, maybe a Patagonia would be awesome. Patagonia, I'm looking at you. I want you involved. Um, who donate and then there are some monetization things and uh, details, okay? Long story short is if you're an everyday person, you donate a dollar, it goes 100% to removing 0.33 LBS pounds, that's, that's what LBS stands for, in case you, you didn't know. Maybe you're an American, you speak in ounces. I, I don't know how many ounces that is, but it's, it's 0.33 pounds of plastic for every dollar. Now, that means that we're basically removing 30 credit cards worth of plastic for that dollar. That's roughly that weight. And so if you're eating a plastic credit card in your diet every week, well, maybe this problem impacts you. Maybe ghost nets and plastics in the ocean has more to do with just like it being shocking on Netflix. And maybe you can actually do something about it. So I did something about it beyond investing in the company. I also donate and I have a profile. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so nice, right? So you have a profile. You put in your, your, your address, where you come from. You can put in a credit card and donate. I chose to donate I, I think it's once every week, a dollar a week for now, and I'm going to upgrade. But guess what? Your homeboy over here, Mark Angelo, at the top of the charts in Canada, I'm the number one person with impact family and impact points. And the impact points are just a way of gamifying donations. It's a way of showing how you can grow an impact family and how you can have impact points. And that's based on the people that I'm attracting or bringing into donate and participate in this. Now, this is very early stage of this organization, but we need your help. We need your help to donate. We need your help to spread the word. We need creatives to help us make content. We're going to be doing other campaigns like trend, planting like an insane amount of trees all over the world and all kinds of different things. But for that to happen, we have to scale and we have to, well, we have to reach our targets on some of these problems, right? So Seaspiracy is, is a great thing that it's a, it's a, it's a story real life story, a very sad story of a very real problem. And as, you know, the, the shocking stats that you can look at here, 46% of the plastic in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is freaking ghost nets. And they have so many other implications, like I said, getting caught on coral reef, uh, attaching themselves to whales or turtles or, or potentially mermaids. I don't know. Is there mermaids? Is this a real thing? Or is it just like an Instagram influencer thing? What do you think, Kyler? 
Oh, they're real. I've seen them <laughs> firsthand, especially in Montreal. You, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, today there might be uh, frozen mermaids because it's snowing in April again. Um, but it was beautiful. Don't even get me started. Oh, we're not. We're not going there. I'm not going to be a Canadian complaining about the weather. Um, but what I can say is, we. I would love for you to join this. I, I honestly, for me, this is really. You know, I, I call myself a philanthropist because I, I truly believe that we can have a difference. And I truly recognize that, you know, as somebody who watched a documentary a week for 52 weeks straight when I started my journey, uh, changing my life and learning about the world around me, you know, the biggest thing that I realized is that every one of these documentaries was spending like 90, 95% of the time talking about a problem and sounding the alarm. Ding, 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 we need to do something. This is horrible. But very little about what we can actually do. And what I love about Dollar Donation Club is it, it just feels real. It just feels like something I can directly impact and we can speak to the direct organization and the direct, you know, skipper or captain of the boat and speak directly to like, hey, we're going to weigh the plastic and the ghost nets that you take out and we're going to report all of this back to you, the person who donated. And if for whatever reason we can't pull out that much plastic, but we can because there's so much of it, unfortunately. Um, and, and, you know, I'm making jokes because I want to keep you entertained, but you know, I really, I'm sad um, as a, a scuba diver, rescue scuba diver. This, I see this. I see the impact of this. I've seen coral reefs destroyed and devastated. I've seen forests get clear cut. And at the end of the day, we have these massive world scale problems. And rather than being billionaires and pointing our fingers to the billionaires and saying, why don't you donate more and do more about it? Well, what if a billion people rised up together and actually made something happen? What if we just like banded together and made something really awesome and cool? And so, you know, I just, I want to see this story grow, but I want to see the solution grow. I want to see the conversation around the solution grow. You know, one of the shocking stats I learned when it came to the issue of climate change, you know, this is a few years ago, but there was an article that came out there. Every one article that talks about the solution to climate change, there are 80 Eight zero that talk about the problem. So to me, ladies and gentlemen, the problem that we have is a narrative problem. We have a narrative problem around the fact that these alarmist headlines and the alarmist type of documentaries are great at mobilizing us into our fear or fight or flight response. They're great at mobilizing us in a way that gets us to engage and recognize the problem. And that serves a very good purpose. Thank you, Netflix. Thank you, Seaspiracy. Thank you for, you know, all the people who made that documentary possible. And I know it was kind of produced by, I believe, Kip Anderson, who was the, um, the guy who produced uh, Cowspiracy, another great documentary. Um, what I can say is that this, the alarm is sounding, and it's on, and it, it, we're in a real serious problem. And by like 2048, 2050, some of the estimates are we're having more plastic in the ocean than fish. And so I don't know how that makes you feel, Kyler, but I saw your eyes light up. Like, I saw you go like, whoa. Like, I'm shocked. Yeah. Like. Kind of unbelievable. I mean, most of the world is water. I mean, how many freaking fish are in the ocean? And we're getting so far that there's more plastic. It's, it's crazy. And, you know, to be honest, I don't think about this stuff every day. So it's, it's good to hear that some people are out there promoting this this type of message yeah. and sharing that everyone can everyone can donate a dollar a month. I personally fully agree. Um, and look, we're on this journey. We haven't figured it all out. We're, dollar Donation Club is not perfect, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. It's definitely something I want to put my storytelling skills to the test on, and that's why I'm doing this as the first segment of Season 7 because this is what matters to me. So I want to do this this podcast in this way that entertains you, but that also brings you really good, valuable information and news. Now, speaking of that, here's a nice little transition. Oh, wait, before I transition, transition back, uh, you know where the links are. If you want to join my impact family, if you want to join Donald or Donation Club, you just want to check it out. You want to share it. Even if you can't donate a dollar, 
I get it. You can share. You can vote with your attention. You can click like on this podcast or the clip of this thing on YouTube. You can tell somebody else about it. You can give us an introduction to a company that you think would be interested in donating. Or maybe you have a company and you're interested in donating your version of a dollar a day because maybe you're crushing it in this uh, 2021 landscape like many of us are. And um, yeah, you know where the links are down below.